A man has just been murdered at GM's vehicle plant in Michigan. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. The Electric Viking. I was just making a video about GM's electric plans over the next three years and how they plan on building 2 million electric cars in 2025. That means they've got to ramp production up from the current 8,000 per quarter to 500,000 per quarter within only a few years time. Can that happen? I don't know, but hopefully they can do it. Right as I finished filming that video, I looked up and I saw that one person had died or been murdered after a fight at GM's Orion assembly plant. The Orion assembly plant is actually GM's first assembly plant that's been converted to electric vehicle production. GM plans on converting all their plants eventually to building only EVs, which is really good news. Now this is actually a pretty big plant. The Orion assembly is a 4.3 million square foot General Motors vehicle assembly plant located in, in Orion Township, Michigan. The plant currently assembles the Chevy Bolt and the Cruze AV. As of September 2019, the plant had just over 1,000 salaried and hourly employees. And the plant actually resumed, actually began producing vehicles on the 1st of December 1983 with the 1985 model C body cars. The assembly produced the Chevrolet Malibu and Pontiac G6 until 2009 when the plant was idled due to the General Motors Chapter 11 reorganization of 2009, basically when GM declared bankruptcy. The plant in suburban Detroit was saved from closure through a one billion US dollar grant and tax incentives from the state of Michigan, local municipalities and the federal government. Then on March the 22nd, 2019, GM announced an additional investment of 300 million US dollars and an addition of 400 workers to build a new electric vehicle at Orion. This was later revealed to be a larger version or a slightly larger version of the electric Chevy Bolt called the Bolt EUV. Well, now a 49 year old man has been murdered following a fight with a co-worker at General Motors plant. Sheriff's Communications Officer Steve Huber identified the victim as Gregory Lanier Robertson of Pontiac. Robertson had worked at the plant for about seven months. His 48-year-old male co-worker is now in custody at Oakland County Jail. Late Thursday afternoon, the Oakland County Medical Examiner's Office completed an autopsy report. His death was marked as a homicide with the cause as multiple blunt force injuries. The sheriff's office confirmed both men in the fight worked for a cleaning service hired by GM. But Huber told the free press his office is not releasing the name of that cleaning company. GM hires vendors to do cleaning as well as some maintenance and parts distribution for the assembly line. And the plant was actually shut down on Thursday for the investigation, but regular production resumed on Friday morning and employees will report at their regular times to build more EVs, unless notified otherwise by GM management. So he was actually found dead at the scene by police at 1.37 a.m. in the morning, and there was no risk to the public, the police are now saying. Here's what happened. Deputies arrived to find Robertson unconscious and bleeding, CPR was performed, but deputies could not revive him. He was pronounced dead at the scene. The suspect was found in a dock area not far from Robertson's body. The item used in the slaying was recovered. The incident and possible motive still remain under investigation. In a statement released later Thursday, Flores said GM was working with the Oakland County Sheriff's Office to investigate an altercation between two employees of a third-party service provider at Orion Assembly early Thursday morning. The incident resulted in the death of one of the individuals. Our thoughts and prayers go to the victim's family. Now, the last fatal homicide at an automotive plant in the United States was actually at Ford Motor Company's Woodhaven stamping plant, where Jacoby Hennings, a temporary part-time employee, was involved in a dispute before shooting himself leading to the plant's evacuation and shutdown. 
Hennings was only 21 years old at the time. Back before that, in 1996, the media reported that Gerald Michael Atkins, then 29, was arrested after dressing like Rambo and using an AK-47 to shoot his way into a Ford plant in Wixom. A manager was killed and three others were wounded. GM's florist said he does not recall a fatal killing at a GM factory until this one. So this looks like it's GM's first homicide at any of their factories worldwide. However, according to GM's 2021 sustainability report, the automaker had two work-related deaths at its facilities up from one death in 2020. So what is this factory going to be doing in the future? Well, GM builds the Chevy Bolt and the Bolt EUV right now. And they just restarted production of the Bolt and the Bolt EUV in April after about eight months of the factory being shut down over the battery recall. GM actually idled the factory late last year in around August so that they could focus on fixing defective batteries as part of a global recall of 2017 to 2022 model year bolts. In fact, they haven't finished fixing all those. Apparently, they've fixed about half of those vehicles so far. So they have about 70,000 vehicles left to go that need their batteries replaced. About 140,000 vehicles were affected in the recall because they could potentially catch fire due to faulty LG Chem batteries. Now, there was more than a dozen fires. No one was injured, but people were told not to park their vehicles in their garages in case the vehicles caught fire. In fact, many of the vehicles were actually banned from parking in a lot of places, in a lot of cities, because there was fears that they could catch fire. When GM restarted the plant in April, Chevrolet leaders said once production ramped up, their EVs would achieve record sales this year, topping 24,000 bolts. However, through June, GM has sold only 7,300 bolts. In the same period last year, GM had sold 20,300. So it's a big difference, 7,300 this year for the first seven months versus 20,300 last year. And it looks like they're on track to maybe hit around 13,000 this year. So quite a big drop off compared to last year. And compared to what the and compared to what GM was hoping for, 24,000, it's also a much lower number. In January, GM announced it would invest $7 billion in Michigan factories included. And that is a $4 billion dollar investment to upgrade Orion to start building the 2024 Chevrolet Silverado EV pickup. Personally, I would love to own one of those. They look absolutely amazing. Now, I'm sorry to hear about what happened here at this factory. Very sad to hear. And my condolences to the family and to those involved in this. The good news is it sounds like the perpetrator is now in custody. Thank you for watching. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. Bye-bye.